In the 1970s, a local group of grave robbers stumbled across an ancient city in Colombia's Sierra Nevada region after climbing a flight of over 1,000 stone stairs from a riverbank. The remarkable city had lain buried under dense vegetation for many centuries before intensive archaeological work uncovered more than 200 structures, including houses, plazas, ceremonial and feasting areas, canals, up on a mountain, by the way, these canals, and in a mountain range. There were also many stone-lined paths. The site came to be known as Ciudad Perdida or the Lost City. One of the highest and most ecologically diverse coastal mountain regions on Earth, the Sierra Nevada Mountains in northern Colombia rise to an altitude of approximately 19,000 feet. Here, the Tayrona people built over 200 distinct settlements from rammed earth and intricately cut masonry. The most extensive, Ciudad Perdida, grew to more than 250 buildings that formed the center of political, economical, and social life until the Tyrona civilization disappeared mysteriously in the 16th century. Hidden by thick jungle for over 400 years, this magnificent lost city was rediscovered in 1975 under the direction of the Global Heritage Fund. Archaeologists completed LIDAR mapping of Ciudad Perdida in 2019 locating more than 200 vernacular structures across a 30 hectare or 80 acre area, including dwellings, terraces, stone paths and staircases, grand plazas, ceremonial and feasting areas, stone houses and a network of canals. Additional excavation zones around Ciudad Perdida await further archaeological research. The city is hidden deep in the jungles of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta Mountains in Colombia. Built by the Tayrona people more than 1,000 years ago, or so they say, the archaeological site only became an attraction after it was uncovered in the 1970s. The ancient wonder is often compared to Machu Picchu, as both are archaeological sites perched on hillsides and tucked into South American rainforests. However, Tayuna is more than 600 years older, and unlike its Peruvian counterpart, there are no trains or buses allowing for easy travels to reach its ruins. The only way to witness the beauty firsthand is on foot through a gruelling multi-day hike. Tayrona was a pre-Columbian culture of Colombia, which consisted in a group of chiefdoms in the region of Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta in what is present-day Caesar Magdalena. Ethno-historical data shows that initial contact with the Spanish was tolerated by the Tayrona, but by 1600 AD, confrontations grew and a small part of the Tayrona population moved to the higher stretches of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. This movement allowed them to evade the worst of the Spanish colonial system during the 17th and 18th centuries. The indigenous Koji, Ahuacos, and Canquamo people who live in the area today are believed to be direct descendants of the Tayrona. And these are said to be some relics of the Tayrone people. And as you can see, quite intricate, um, you know, very South American looking. It looks like we've got some snakes here, um, double Taurus maybe, or well, definitely down here. And, uh, but, you know, definitely good workmanship, right? 
not um, the workmanship of a primitive people. Here's some more. And, you know, as you can see, this is pretty cool stuff. I'm not exactly sure what they're trying to depict. If these are humans or demons or something. But again, this is from an advanced society, right? These people are building big, you know, masonry, um, you know, what are they, forts or holds or growing centres on the tops of mountains and then producing this intricate jewellery and um, artwork. But again, we're always told these people are just these primitive people with no tools, no technology, but every time they, they seem to pop out these amazing buildings and artwork. And that's it. There's not really a lot on this site, uh, but we can see it's a, it's a huge site. It's built on a mountaintop. It has canals, has a massive amount of stone infrastructure that's, again, had to be taken up this mountain uh, before it was set in place. And saying it was built over a thousand years ago and Machu Picchu, which is, you know, very, very similar, they're saying is 600 years apart. And then, of course, you know, none of this technology, we're told, was supposed to exist at all in the Americas back a thousand years ago or 650 years ago. They shouldn't have had the technology to, to construct these forts or these or whatever they are, up on mountaintops. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I thought we'd just have a quick look on Google Earth. Here we are. This is Columbia below us. And you can see this is just a huge mountain range. And over here we have Ciudad Perdida. And you'll see this is... Quite a big infrastructure. It's not just a little one-off um, platform. And, and as you can see, it's on a mountaintop, so it's all built in platforms. But this is the top, and it just keeps going down the mountain here, all this way down to the bottom. And even over here, we have more infrastructure that's being built. This is a little village. Um, you know, with grass huts, you know, of course, right? Well, actually, let's have a look, because this, this is what they want us to believe, is that these people in the grass huts who live in these and build these as their houses, that these people are the ancestors of the people who built the stone fort on the hill, the stone fort. And they try and tell us, you know, it's made of, you know, mud as well, like mud brick. Uh, but clearly it's not. Because if we go down there, you'll see it's just all uh, stone in the middle of the tropics as well. But here you go. So there's no mud brick here. There's no mud construction. This is, I mean, you know, there's mud in the middle of the bricks. Look at this. This is just all complete stone construction and you can see that they're, they're not huge megaliths but they're big stones you know if you've got to bring every one of these up the mountainside and, and the story of course has to be you know if we're talking the, the uh, mainstream narrative um it has to be that people brought them up on their backs right there were no horses here maybe they're going to say they used llamas i don't know but they didn't really have pack animals that you know in south america uh, they had the llamas, and that was about it. Well, and the alpacas. Um, but, yeah, this is just a big stone fortress. No no mud brick, no mud construction. And as you can see, the whole thing, the whole way down, just thousands and thousands of these Rocks have been brought up, right, to construct this and then laid perfectly, so perfectly that this thing they're telling us is still sitting here a thousand years later in, you know, the walls and everything are in pretty much perfect condition. 
Look at this edge here, a thousand years old, holding back all this dirt. All right, all these paths still flat. As we heard, um, when they discovered it, they found a thousand step staircase made out of stone that was fine. They walked, walked the whole thing. Okay, but made by primitive people who um, had nothing, just ran around in the jungle, uh, but decided to build this huge construction here. And again, there's no, you know, there's no story for what this is. Uh, they just kind of say well, it was just, you know, a village and where they lived and but there's no real story at all. There's not really a lot of information on this place at all. But again, look, stone paths, stairways, all this is man-made, this stone stuff, everything, like stone wall, more stairways, looking a bit rougher here. Are they stones or are they leaves? Maybe they're leaves. Um, but yeah, a thousand years old, right? And look at the jungle encroaching on it. It's still sitting there fine. This is what they want us to believe. So is this a thousand years old, do you think? Or is it maybe um, a bit newer, you know, and they, they, they just skew the dates? Because as they said, you know, it's very similar in construction and look to Machu Picchu. And, of course, um, they've put something silly over the top here on Google Earth. But you can see this has been cleared, obviously. Um, you know, all the forests have been cleared away and, and you can get up there and check things out, you know, because it's a tourist destination. The other one is as well, but it's not, you know, easily accessible. But if you look at this, Machu Picchu, again, built on the top of a mountain, you can see we have high points and it sort of comes down the hill, right, in all these different levels. Uh, so it looks, it looks like they're made for food growing, I'm not sure, but, I mean, it's just to level out the land as well, isn't it, because they're on mountains. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty similar kind of a site and even goes down the hill. It's got more sort of satellite um, infrastructure around it. So, you know, it's it's not that much different. Okay, so there we have Machu Picchu. Again, a bit hard to see, but you can see it's all tiered down this mountaintop. And, of course, in the middle of a mountain range, up here we have the Ciudad Petita. And the same thing, in the middle of a mountain range, sitting on the top of a mountain. And it's not like, you know, they don't seem to be cities as such. I'm not really sure what they use for. They don't seem to be forts either. Not that I think any forts are actually, you know, were originally built as forts. Um, but yeah, this one up here, the top of South America, and uh, a few weeks ago, we had a look at something in Haiti, which was here. So these are all, you know, not, you know, they're, they're in a similar region, but they're not that close to each other. But this one's much bigger and more fort-like. Um, you know, it's not so so tiered. Like the other ones do look like they're for growing food or something. But yeah, sitting there again on top of a mountain top. So this is the question. You know, we're told that these that this one was built in modern times in the eighteen fifties, I believe, and that the other two were built. Well, one was a thousand years ago, and one was four hundred years ago, by people who didn't have any technology. But as we saw. You know, those same people were making also jewellery and arts out of metal, right, which is metalworking. Uh, but also now, you know, their descendants are living in grass huts, apparently. You know, they tell us that they're the descendants, but then they tell us that they don't know, you know, when this was built and they only think that, that this, you know, great, um, that this group of people built it. You know, so nothing's cemented and, and they don't tell us how it was built how any how any of this was done because they can't it doesn't make a lot of sense you know and it's the same thing right everywhere we see it um we seem to be devolving not evolving so what do you think do you think that that was built a thousand years ago by uh people with you know not much technology hauling rocks up mountains or do you think it was built 
um, by a more technologically advanced civilization for a different reason? Or is there another reason that you think it was built? And what time? Because, you know, all the, it's just all speculation uh, in the end. But there you go, guys, uh, a hidden city. And just another, you know, I just find it interesting because sitting up there on top of a mountaintop in the middle of a jungle where it shouldn't be and clearly, you know, built with tech above their, above their means, of, you know, of what the historical narrative tells us. So there you go. Thanks for uh, joining me. Hope you enjoyed that one. Please give me a like, subscribe, um, leave me a comment, share the video, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.